guys, it's Lilypad. Welcome back to another cooking video. Today we are going to be making an ants on a picnic ice cream cake. And we're gonna make the ants using some M&Ms. So what you're going to need is a cake. This is just a box cake and make sure your cake is completely cool. You're gonna need some Oreos. I don't know how much, but this is two whole boxes of Oreos. So it should be enough. Um, you're going to need some graham crackers, um, your favorite flavor of ice cream. Um, I have two cartons here just to be sure we have enough. You're going to need some fruit gummies or fruit candy, candy that looks like fruit. Um, and if you, um, you can use green frosting, but um, I'm using mint chip and I don't like frosting on ice cream cake. So I'm gonna dye this green with green food coloring. You don't have to. And you are going to need some frosting for the ant's legs. So now we're gonna get started prepping all the ingredients so we can assemble our cake. So what you wanna do is you want, the first thing is you have to level your cake. So you can also use a cake leveler, but I don't have one of those. So I'm just using a knife cut this as best as I can and I'm going to go around because I am really bad because I always go at an angle when I cut just straight so this should help me so then after I you level your cake and mine isn't that good but it's the first time I've done this so then I just pop it in here with my, and there, it sits right in there nicely. After you have leveled off your cake, it is time to separate our Oreos. So you are going to pick up an Oreo from the pile and carefully hold the cookies and twist them until one of them comes off and it should have come off pretty easily. Then you are going to take the filling and carefully peel it away from the other cookie and it should come off like that and then you can just set aside the excess. Um, here are all of our cookies that we made. So now it's time to crush them. So now that I have all my Oreo cookies, you're just gonna take a plastic bag and load your cookies into it. If you have a big enough bag, which I don't know, you might have, then you can load all of them in at once, but I am just doing um, small sections at a time. So once you have all of your cookies in your bag, you are just going to zip it up and make sure that there's not a lot of air. Then I have these tools I'm going to use, and I'm going to see which one works better. And I'm going to try this one. So now here I have my Oreo cookies, or at least half of them anyway, and this is the consistency you want. You want fine crumbs, but you can also have chunks in them too. So I'm just going to put all my crumbs into a bowl, and then I'm going to do the next batch. So now, um, because I don't like to use frosting and, um, you know, this ice cream is not artificially colored. So I'm going to dye it green with some food coloring. And uh, this is a new package, so let me just open it. So then you can just take your softened ice cream, very softened ice cream, and pour it in. And then I'm going to take my other one. Go. 
then I'm just going to add some food coloring. And I'm going to use a lot because this is a lot of ice cream. It's two whole cartons. And then I'm just going to mix this all up until it is a nice green. So now you're going to mash up your graham crackers for the ant hill, for the ants. And you don't need that many graham crackers, so I'm just going to mash up three. And again, you're just going to use the same technique as the Oreos. You're just going to put it in a bag and then mash it. So now I've finished mashing. And these need to be a lot finer crumbs than the Oreos because you're going to use it as sand on the anthill or dirt. And dirt is a lot finer than the crumbs of the Oreos you want. So make sure it's very fine and even crumbs. So now that um, we have our cake here, it's time to start assembling our cake. So you are going to put the first layer of Oreo cookies down. So just spread it like this a little bit. And don't use all of it because you're gonna need the other half. And just spread it out and pack it down into your cake so that it is a nice firm layer. And I'm gonna spread around some of the big chunks. And there you go, you have your first layer. So now that you have your first Oreo cookie layer, you are going to take your ice cream and it should be softened. And then you can just scoop it on to your cake and um, spread it around. Make sure it covers the whole entire surface of the cake. And then you're just gonna spread out all of the ice cream. So once you've smoothed out the top layer like this, you want to make sure to leave some space on your cake pan so that um, you can put another layer of cookies and then another layer of ice cream. So now for the first layer to set, you just have to pop this in the freezer until it's set. So now that our first ice cream layer has set, we are going to do another layer of cookie and then another layer of ice cream. So you're just going to do the same thing that you did before and spread out all of your cookies and pat them down onto the ice cream gently and uh, on these green spots you can just cover up the cookie more and it'll be nice and packed together. So after your second layer of cookie, you can again put down another layer of ice cream and then just spread it out on your cake. Yeah, there we go. And when you're spreading out your ice cream layers, you want to make sure that your ice cream is softened so that it's easier to spread out because then it just gets really messy and hard and can become like see there you know <sighs> and so then after that you just smooth it out and when you're smoothing it out you want to smooth it in one direction and you can do as many layers of ice cream and cookie as you want, as long as you have enough. So now that your ice cream has been smoothed out, then you're going to pop this in the freezer for overnight. But if you're doing more layers, just uh, put this in the freezer until it's set. But on your last layer, you definitely want to make sure you freeze it overnight so that it's nice and hard so that we can make our ants. So now 
that our cake has been frozen overnight and it has come out of the freezer. It is nice and hard and perfect so that we can start assembling our cake. Here, I molded my cake scraps together. Um, and since this was a really moist cake, um, it didn't need any frosting. But you can use whatever you have to mold the anthill. So I'm just going to lift it up and place it over here on my cake and make a little hole where the with my finger where the ants are supposed to go in. So now you're going to take your graham cracker crumbs that you mashed the day before and just sprinkle them on to your cake ant hill. Um, and it's definitely okay if uh, some cake shows through because then it'll look like dirt mixed with some lighter dirt or some sand, you know, however you want to think of it. So once you've finished sprinkling your ant hill with graham cracker crumbs, you're going to make your ants. I have separated some brown and red M&Ms from my whole bunch and I'm going to make some regular ants and some red ants and the way you assemble an ant is you take three M&Ms of the same color and you just place them in a row with the M side down and then you're going to press that in and put some chocolate frosting into a bag or a piping bag and put a really and cut a really uh, small hole or put a really small tip and you are going to pipe legs onto your ants. So now that I have all my ants here, I am going to put fruit on some of them. And I have these juji fruits, I think that's what they're called. And what I'm going to do is take my icing and pipe a dot of icing on the middle M&M and place a little fruit on there. So it's like an ant is carrying it on his back. And this is your ice cream cake. It looks so good and delicious and it looks especially cute with all these little ants with the fruit and the ant hill. And um, if you guys have any more designs that you wanna do, you can totally make them with candy. Um, with candy you can basically make anything. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to me. That's Lily Pad. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.